So welcome back. We'll start with this prayer. <clears throat> Om Adhyana Timirandhasya Nyananjana Shalakaya Chakshurun Militam Yena Tasmai Shri Gurave Namaha Nama Om Vishnu Padaya Krishna Prishtaya Bhutale Shri Mate Bhakti Vedanta Swamin Itinamine Namaste Saraswate Deve Gauravani Pracharine Nirvishesha Shunyavadi Pashchata Deshatarine Shri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Shri Advaita Gadadhar Shiva Sadi Gaurabhakta Vrinda Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare 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 Krishna So this week we are discussing <clears throat> the topic of spiritual diet. So let us see what you remember from yesterday. Kirti Vanta Prabhu. The people who are attracted to Prashad are in the mode of goodness. Okay, yes. Uh, Aditya Prabhu or Vichitra Prabhu? Just wait. Um. The different types of food based on the mode, whether it's mode of goodness or mode of passion, mode of ignorance, Sattvic, Rajasik and Tamasik. Yeah. Yes, Prabhu. Very good. So the food can be categorized into three modes. Mode of goodness, passion or ignorance. Uh, Manmohan Prabhu or Neha Mataji? Hare Krishna Prabhu. Uh, Prabhu, you discussed that if one wants to become peaceful in life and wants to focus on chanting, then the food and mode of goodness is required for the body. And also you mentioned that Prashadam is transcendental and it can be eat anytime. Yeah, very good. Excellent. Malika Mataji? Prabhuji. Um, you mentioned that if food is offered with devotion, um, then Krishna accepts even leaves or uh, fruits, flowers, water, all kind of food which is in the mode of goodness. Very good. Uh, Pundarik Aksha Prabhu. Um, mode of goodness food is juicy, fatty, wholesome and pleasing to the heart and it gives you life duration and it purifies your existence. It gives you strength. It gives you health and happiness and satisfaction. Wow. Very good. Excellent. Uh, Sandeep Prabhu. Hare Krishna Prabhuji. Foods in, in the mode of... Uh, um, Mode of passion or too bitter, um, sour, too salty, hot, pungent, dry and burning. And they actually cause distress, disease and misery to the body. Yes. So those which needs to be avoided. Yes. Thank you. Uh, Sentil Prabhu. We discussed the sloka about Pasham Putman Palam. Mm -hmm. Pasham putpam palam toyam yome bhaktiya praya chati tatham bhakti upahridam asnami praya tatmanaha. Very good. Excellent. Ramakrishna Prabhu, you had raised your hand as well. Actually, uh, earlier two Matajis and uh, young Mataji Varshita also told, I was telling the same thing uh, like you told uh, what means the characteristics of the food. Uh, yeah. So we can determine ourselves where we are and where we have to move. Okay, good. Anyone remembers what was the food in mode of ignorance? You have mentioned till now mode of goodness and mode of passion. We also saw the food which is in mode of ignorance, mode of darkness. Um, someone who hasn't spoken yet. Sannivas Prabhu. The food in ignorance are prepared for more than three hours before eating, and it is tasteless, decomposed, um, putrid, and it contains the remnants, and it's stale and old, and it causes laziness, sleep, madness, and foolishness. Okay, very good, Suraj Prabhu. Okay, excellent. All right. 
<clears throat> so yesterday we talked about this food in three modes and we saw that the food um which is offered to the lord is neither in mode of goodness passion or ignorance it is shuddha sattva it is transcendental food but while cooking we have to choose the ingredients which are at least in mode of goodness and then we offer uh, that to the supreme lord and then that becomes prasad that becomes kripa of the lord and then when we consume that that has a different effect on us we become freed from all the sinful reactions and uh, we go closer to the supreme lord just by uh, honoring prasad or eating prasad so yesterday we talked about that and today we are going to look at some practical aspect so earlier on in the first session there were some questions about the practical aspects about how to offer and how to honor so these are the two things that we are going to cover today how to offer to the lord and how to honor the prasad so let us jump into it <laughs> so how to offer to lord krishna so this is a simple process but for those who haven't yet done it uh, so for them i am going to explain it little bit how to do it so how to offer the bhoga to the lord or the food that you have prepared to the lord so the first thing that we should understand is that we should be clean so that means we should we should have taken bath and then um, uh, then we are actually going and offering it to the lord so that is the one that is the first thing then your plates utensils they should be clean so best is to have a separate plate just like i'm showing in the picture separate plate separate bowls cups spoons etc for the lord specifically reserved for the lord and provide the best that you can offer to the lord for example if you can offer steel plates then that is fine steel plates if you can offer copper plates copper plates or if you offer if you can uh, afford silver plates then you can buy silver plate and bowls and cups like that and then reserve that only for the lord then once we actually decide that these are for the lord then don't use it for yourself or for anyone else um like except for the lord so i have a separate set of plate bowls spoons cups and everything for Uh, for the lord then cook for the lord with love so using the best ingredients which are possible for you that you can afford cook for the lord and while cooking listen to the kirtan or some lecture or sing some kirtan while cooking so at that time we should be having as pure consciousness as possible we are cooking for the lord once the cooking is completed then place each item that you have cooked on this plate and put enough quantity that will be uh, good for an adult to eat so we should not be uh, putting like a very small plate with uh, like uh, they are in the toy kitchens for children to play not like that we should have a adult size plate and then uh, put the enough quantity that an adult can eat like that you can make a plate <clears throat> now once the place plate is ready um then uh, put a tulsi leaf on the plate or in on each item if possible but if you do not have um, a tulsi plant at your home tulsi magani at home then just uh, offer it in the mind that the tulsi leaf you are keeping there now you take the plate that 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 has been now prepared with all the things that you have cooked like rice dal sabji some sweet or whatever you have prepared uh, that you have made the plate and you are taking it to the lord now so keep it in front of the lord now if you have deities at home like uh, krishna deities like gaur nitai or radha krishna or jagannath baldev subhadra or krishna balram like that then you can offer it to them if you do not have anything like that then uh, you can offer it to the picture of krishna so now you have kept the plate in front of Uh, the picture of the lord or the deities that you have now when you have kept the plate and if there are say some other people as well in the house that uh, some guests are there and uh, they are also uh, there in front of the lord then we want some seclusion for the lord so we can if it is possible at all 
then put some folding screen in front of the lords or some room divider so that the lord can have some privacy while eating we don't want just like we when we are having uh, our prasad and we don't want some 10 or 15 people standing in front of us and watching us eat similarly we should give some privacy to the lord and for that i'm saying that if it is at all possible for you keep some screen or if it is a separate room then no problem then this is not all now you have kept the plate in front of the lord just like when some guest arrive at your home or some special guest that you have at home and uh, now the plates are ready and we have put them into dining table it is not that they will just come and sit on the diet, on the chair and they will start eating no we actually request them respectfully and very lovingly that please come and have uh, food similarly we also do it for the lord very respectfully and with love then we ask the lord to accept the food that you have prepared for them so how we do it is by chanting this mantras that i am going to show you and if you have a bell like the ghanti then you can chant this mantra and ring the bell so these mantras you don't need to write it down if you don't know i will once at the end of the session i will uh, post the uh, mantras on the group whatsapp groups so these are the uh three mantras which are there well, the first one is uh, shila prabhupas uh, pranam mantra then we are uh, offering uh, pranam to uh, gornitai chaitanya mahaprabhu and then we are offering uh, the pranam to lord krishna himself and this is how we go so because we are offering this bhoga to the lord not directly remember the process of bhakti is we are going through the guru parampara so this offering as well that we are uh, keeping in front of the lord we are passing it through our guru parampara so that is why we chant this mantras in that sequence that we chant the if you have a spiritual master then you chant the pranam mantra of spiritual master then shila prabhupas then chaitanya mahaprabhus and then we go to uh, supreme lord krishna like that and in that parampara we are offering our prayers as well as we are offering this bhoga as well and we chant this mantra three times so you chant shila prabhupas pranam mantra three times then you chant chaitanya mahaprabhu's mantra and then you chant krishna's mantra this mantras are very simple the first shila prabhupas mantra you would already know nama om vishnu padaya krishna prishthaya bhutale shrimate bhakti vedanta swamin iti namine namaste saraswate deve gauravani pracharine nirvishesh shunyavadi paschatya deshatarine then we are offering uh, pranam to chaitanya mahaprabhu by saying this mantra again three times namo mahavadanyaya krishna prema pradayate krishnaya krishna chaitanya namane gaurat vishena maha and then to uh, lord krishna namo brahmanya devaya go brahmanya hitaya cha jagat hitaya krishnaya govindaya namo namaha so these mantras we can say three three times if in the beginning if uh, you haven't it by heart it this mantra then uh, one thing that you can do is you can put, take a print out and keep it next to uh, your altar and then you can look at this mantra and read but if you cannot do that as well and you haven't uh, remembered the mantras then you can just chant the hare krishna maha mantra three times and then offer it like that so that's a simpler procedure but if you want to do it properly then you can do it like this because then here the mood is that we are passing it through the guru parampara now this is this has been done you have welcomed them for uh, uh, the food that you have prepared so that they can honor they can take it now you have to welcome the lord in a way by showing the hand so that we can actually just when the guests come then we will say that please come please come so similarly we can actually welcome the lord towards the plate and make a small uh, one more prayer in your mind or uh, just in plain english or whatever language uh, you want to do it you can just say that on behalf of the spiritual master or this or shila prabhupad or guru parampara we are we are offering this uh, bhoga to you so please accept it and then offer your dandavat or pranam and then you can leave for uh, some time 
and then keep the plate for the lord for uh, some time to accept it so for a few minutes and uh, after after that time is done then you can again ring the bell um say three hari krishna maha mantra three times and take the plate that the lord has already honored to the kitchen and all the things that you have cooked you can mix those things back into the main vessels now by mixing that into the main vessels now everything has become prasad because the lord has now honored it and uh, it has uh, become lord's mercy now so it has been mixed into the pots now you clean the plate that the lord's plate keep it separately don't eat into that same plate keep it for the lord now you are ready now the offering has been done now we can honor it but before we go there what if say suppose uh, you have uh, brought one dozen apples and uh, you want to offer uh, not yeah you, you want to offer these 12 apples over a period of time we don't want to offer all of them together then it is a simple process you just go through the same process say you take one apple offer it to the lord and then once uh, that is done instead of mixing the apple into all the remaining 11 apples you just keep it separately and then you can honor it afterwards and then the next time you want to offer then you can again take the next apple and offer if you don't mix it then it will not become prasad and the same thing will go uh, for anything like if you prepared some sweets and you want to offer it uh, regularly uh, it has if the sweets have some life then you can just offer it like that what if uh, you are just starting your krishna consciousness and you are not cooking all the food stuffs which are in mode of goodness for example if there are some items which are having onion and garlic then what can you do then offer those items which are in mode of goodness for example you would have cooked some plain rice then just offer the plain rice with some ghee with some curd or whatever uh, some uh, uh, ghee and sugar or something like that you can offer or some roti that you have prepared or any sabji which is without onion and garlic uh, milk fruits sweets anything which is in mode of goodness you can offer those items this will be a beginning of you accepting krishna prasad and you will be serving the lord and showing your love for the lord best is to cook as we were discussing yesterday cook in mode of goodness and develop mode of goodness uh, for yourself as well so now the bhoga offering is done you are ready to honor the prasad so how to do that so as i mentioned it is honoring prasad it is not just eating prasad so honoring prasad means it is the supreme lord krishna he is giving you his mercy so you are accepting it very nicely and that is why sometimes it is also called prasad seva prasad seva means eating prasad is a seva of lord krishna everyone likes uh, this service a lot so it is honoring prasad it is krishna's mercy so before we eat or honor this prasadam we show our gratitude to the supreme lord by saying this uh, this prayer most of the children um, they would already know this and those who don't know actually again this uh, can be printed out and kept on your dining table or kept with you so that till the time you haven't uh, by hearted it we should try to uh, recite it uh, from there and then afterwards you can just in uh, from the memory you can uh, you can chant this before any uh, big meal that you are having like a breakfast or a lunch or dinner before that we should always chant this it's a simple prayer maha prasade govinde nam brahmani vaishnave swalpa punya vatam rajan vishwasu naiva jayate शरीरा विद्या जाल जोड़ेन्द्रिय ताहे काल जीवे फैले विषय सागरे तार मधे जीवाती लोभमय सुदुरमति ताके जेता कठिन संसारे कृष्ण बड़ा दयामय करी वारे जीवा जय स्वप्रसादा नदी लोभाय 
सैयना मृत पाओ राधा कृष्ण गुण गाओ प्रेमी डाको श्री चैतन्य निताय जय निमाय जय निताय जय श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभु नित्यानंद श्री अद्वैत गदाधर शिवासादि गौर भक्त वृंद हरे कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा कृष्ण कृष्णा हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे सो दिस इज हाउ वी एक्चुअली चैन दिस प्रेयर फॉर बिफोर ऑनरिंग द प्रसाद सो विल टॉक अबाउट लिटिल बिट अबाउट दिस प्रेयर वॉट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ द प्रेयर so it's a simple and very beautiful meaning <clears throat> so i would request one of the adults to uh, read uh, yes vichitra prabhu thank you prabhu ji persons who are not very highly elevated in pious activity cannot believe in the remnants of food or prasadam of the supreme personality of godhead nor in govinda the holy name of the lord nor in the vaishnavas yes sudhir prabhu the next para wo oh lord this material body is a place of ignorance and the senses are a network of paths to death somehow we have fallen into this ocean of material sense enjoyment and of all the senses the tongue is most voracious and uncontrollable it is very difficult to conquer the tongue in this world okay wonder ikaksha prabhu but you dear krishna are very kind to us and have given us such a nice prasada just to control the tongue now we take this prasada to our full satisfaction and glorify you lord radha and krishna and in love call for the help of lord chaitanya and nityananda thank you prabhu so this prayer <clears throat> is quite interesting so <clears throat> it is first of all it is explaining our difficulty how difficult how uh, uh, how much difficult situation we are into at this point in time so it says sharira avidya jal so this sharir this body is a network is a place of ignorance so it is saying that we are all in mainly mode of ignorance then it said jodendriya tahe kal so this senses are the network path towards death so why it is said because the senses are pulling us in various directions they are uncontrollable and they are pulling us everywhere and we are helplessly falling on for their cravings and because of that we may do various sinful activities and then we are getting dragged towards death so we are not going towards the the supreme lord but we are going in the reverse direction in the opposite direction so then it says jive phaile vishay sagare and somehow we have fallen into this ocean of material sense enjoyment tar tara madhe jivate so out of all these things the various senses which are there uh this jiva or the tongue is very voracious why because it, it is said that tar madhe jivati lobhamay sudurmati of all the senses tongue is most voracious and uncontrollable it is said that this is the most dangerous of all our senses why because it makes us do so many sinful activities such a small part of our body actually just 2 3 inches that is the size of the tongue and the taste on that remains just for few moments when the food is passing through the tongue only then at that point in time the the taste of the food remains and then once it goes beyond the tongue all food are same the taste does not matter at all after that still for this tongue which is only 2 3 inches people are happily ready to kill the animals and eat them so for the tongue we eat food which is in mode of passion mode of ignorance and remain in the cycle of birth old age death and disease and that is how we remain in this material world and we do not progress towards the spiritual world 
so that is why it is said that this is a very small uh, tongue but small part of our body but it is very lobhumay very sudurmati so it is voracious and uncontrollable and then it is saying take jetha kathin samsare and it is very very difficult to conquer the tongue in this world so it is all not all doom and gloom though there is a hope and that hope is coming next then in the prayer so after explaining the difficult situation that we are in where we are getting controlled by the senses and because of that we are remaining in this material world some or the other the hope is there which is krishna bada dayamaya that the supreme lord krishna is very very kind to us how he is kind to us kari vare jiva jay so to help us control our tongue and conquer the sense of this tongue or the taste what he is doing for us swa prasad anno dilo bhai so he is giving us very nice prasad and swa prasad so it is he is accepting the food that we are giving and then giving it to us so swa prasad he has given his own food to us it is lord's mercy um, that is given through this prasad that is going to uplift us from ignorance and passion to goodness and then take us to the pure goodness and then it is said sei anna amrit pao so earlier it was said that we are uh, jive phele vishay sagre and uh, jodendriya tahe kal kal like death was talked about earlier but now this prasad is opposite it is saying sei anna amrit pao amrit means it is going to take us back to godhead it is immortal it is going to make us immortal so now we take this prasad to our full satisfaction radha krishna guna gao so because we are so pleased by um, the supreme lord's mercy on us then what are we going to do we are going to actually sing the glories of the lord radha krishna guna gao preme dako chaitanya nitai so preme dako chaitanya nitai so we glorify lord uh, radha and krishna and give a call of help for chaitanya nityananda so every day before you honor your prasad i would request you to sing this prayer it is a reminder for all of us that we are in such a difficult situation and by lord's mercy because giving us this uh, prasad we can actually conquer our senses and go back to godhead and that will also help us to do other services like preme dako shri chaitanya nitai and radha krishna gunga we will be able to do that as well so i'll send these mantras as, as well as this prayer to all of you afterwards uh, just today at say itself um and please use this for offering the bhoga to the lord and then honoring it afterwards so we'll stop here and i'll uh, open it for any questions or comments you may have hari krishna yes manmohan prabhu neha mata ji Hare Krishna, Prabhu. Uh, thank you so much for the lecture. Uh, Prabhu, you mentioned that when we offer prasadam to the Lord, we have to put uh, tulsi leaves in it. Yeah. So why we put tulsi leaves in prasadam, Prabhu? Yeah. So tulsi leaf we keep because tulsi is a very dear devotee of the Lord. So you remember what we what we were talking about earlier that the process of bhakti. So, sorry this process of uh, yeah bhakti devotional service is the process of mercy we are not dependent only on our endeavor we do our endeavors but then we are uh, asking for some mercy and uh, we want some recommendations so uh, because we know all our anarthas that is there in our heart and uh, krishna is so transcendental and pure and we want to offer something to the lord and even though we have this mode of passion and ignorance so much as we saw in the prayer as well we have done something for the lord and we know that just on our strength it is so difficult for us to offer anything to the lord so we actually do two uh, things one we offer the prasad through the guru parampara and then that way it is getting um, 
through the right channel but the second thing that we do is we actually request the tulsi maharani to also come and appear there and because for the lord this tulsi is a very dear uh, devotee and um, uh, by seeing the tulsi on the plate then the lord will immediately accept it and that is the reason why we keep it so this is for invoking lord's mercy onto us so these are the tricks that we do we know that we have uh, so many anarthas and if we actually just offer ourselves the lord may not accept it so we use these tricks of uh, putting the tulsi maharani so that looking at that the lord will say oh my dear devotee is there i will accept it and this is coming from guru parampara okay i will accept it one hari krishna thank you prabhu okay hari krishna hari krishna हिमजाजी <laughs> serve them see that they eat well and all that and then yeah. make sure everything is all right right so that's why you leave the plate near the lord and then after a while you come back and check and then take it yeah so when i said that uh, you remember what i i mentioned there was that if there are some outside people who are there and uh, uh, if they are going to be there then it is best to actually cover the uh, thing so that it is some um privacy. privacy for the lord but if they are uh, all uh, from the home itself and um, then that is okay but generally our uh, the deity worship process is done through some rules and regulations so before we actually go into this uh, loving reciprocal relationship like the bhav and prem before that we have to actually start worshipping the lord by following some proper strict rules and regulations and then if you want to do as per the rules and regulations because i gave a very simplified process mata ji there are many other mantras that you have to do you have to purify yourself you have to do yachman you have to do that and whatever so i'm giving as a very simple process yeah, what the uh, beginning hari krishna ratilal prabhu ji can i please prabhu some... yeah let me complete the answer mata ji and then you can thank you so um, so just like that when we are uh, offering it is best that uh, we give some privacy to the lord by as per the if we are doing it as per the rules and regulations uh, but if they are all from the home in the beginning if you want to just offer it like that that is also fine but especially when there are some uh, people uh, who are from outside they don't know what you, what is happening and there are some guests like that and it is best to uh, give some privacy to the lord for for having it hari krishna prabhu thank you hari krishna uh, yes nirmala mata ji you had some question uh knees for the god what is it what is the question how, how long we have to keep it uh, oh right before right. yeah. the god so it it all depends what items you are offering mata ji so suppose you are just keeping some fruit then one or two minutes is also enough because how much time does it take for uh, eating eating fruit but if you are offering uh, the entire plate of prasadam then i would suggest at least keep it for 5 minutes or so okay, okay. thank you okay. thank you hari krishna hari krishna hare krishna yes uncle you also have some question yeah prabhu ji while we taking prasadam we blaming the turn what we, while we while we take the prasada we are, we were blaming the tongue but the same tongue is help us to sing the maha mantra chanting of course yeah 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 so if see everything for the senses as well as for the mind the rule is same if they are under control then they are our friends if they are out of control they are our enemies okay so we have to actually make sure that all our senses become our friends and then they will help us to go back to godhead 
if they remain our enemies then it will be uh, a problem for all of us okay thank you hari krishna hari krishna prabhu ji all right uh, sannivas prabhu hari krishna prabhu ji yes prabhu ji priyank prabhu uh, prabhu ji uh, in a situation where uh, you have to go to a friend's place or in a situation where you have to eat with the family and the family are eating non on with the food with onion and garlic or sometimes they eat non veg so do we offer the prasadam or do we give prasadam to them at that particular time in the plate or we just leave it for for, for some time and then give it later i did not understand so you have gone to somebody else's house yeah in a, in a situation where we in a situation where yes we can uh, if we go to a person's house a friends or or if we are having prasadam with or if we are having food with the family where the family doesn't follow rules and they eat <laughs> onion and garlic or sometimes they also eat non veg so in that situation we have prasadam with us so mm. do we offer do we give the prasadam to them directly at that particular time while they are eating oh or right 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 yeah for a while and then after we give it to them yes thank you prabhu so good question so lord's prasad is transcendental just like we say that um, uh hari krishna maha mantra we can actually chant any time similarly lord's prasad as well we can offer to anyone at any time because uh, as say shila prabhupad what he uh, generally said that when anyone comes to the temple or some programs like this he wanted everyone to eat to the fullest like the uh, it they should eat till here so that they don't want to actually then go out and eat something else like some junk food or some other things like any food which is in passion or ignorance so the shila prabhupada's mood is that we should give them the best uh, that that is there like which is krishna prasad is the best of all so if we have something then we should actually give them immediately and then give in enough quantity so that they can uh, have that and they don't have to then eat anything else so if it is at all possible then we can give them and you don't have to worry about what they are eating at that point in time you have come to give them prasad so you give them no problem thank you prabhu ji okay bharadwaj ji prabhu hari krishna prabhu ji Uh, yes, but in prasadam offer we will uh, gauri uh, gauranga mahaprabhu is the incarnation of krishna no prabhu again yes, why we are giving to again to krishna till namaha vaidanya krishna prema prada we can stop there okay right? yes yeah so the reason is because the supreme lord came as a devotee of the lord and if you see our guru parampara we don't stop in the guru parampara description on the page uh, 31 or whatever on your bhagavad gita as well when shila prabhupada gave that description of the guru parampara he also knows right that krishna or chaitanya mahaprabhu is the supreme personality of godhead but he did not stop the guru parampara there he took it all the way to the supreme lord krishna like that so that is how uh, because uh, the lord came as a devotee and he wanted to teach us the proper process so we are following that the same uh, logic here there just like the guru parampara was extended beyond chaitanya mahaprabhu up to krishna so similarly we actually try to offer everything to uh, the lord like that the matters yeah that is fine mata ji because it is see you know what is happening so while only chanting mantra we are saying, saying like that so we are remembering the supreme lord we are remembering the chaitanya chaitanya mahaprabhu we are remembering our guru like that but uh, finally you know that chaitanya mahaprabhu is the supreme lord krishna himself that is why we offer him everything like we are offering to like krishna balaram so chaitanya mahaprabhu and nityananda prabhu uh, we offer everything like we are offering it to krishna and balaram thank you prabhu ji okay uh, kirtivant prabhu so what to do if you don't have tulsi leaves okay if you do not have tulsi leaf um then um, um our bhakti vishram madhav maharaj when he was here uh, he ex- he explained that in that situation when someone doesn't have uh, tulsi leaves then we can use a tulsi stick 
so some dry tool sticks i have many if anyone wants i can actually give uh, those sticks to you so you can uh, keep a tool stick at home and then um, uh, you can actually touch the tool stick uh, stick uh, to the food and that is as if you are doing it uh, you are uh, keeping a tulsi leaf on it if you do not have that as well then what you can do is you can uh, offer the tulsi leaf in the mind on the food and then that is how you can keep it thank you bro okay so we'll take the last question here uh, neha mataji you have one more question yes prabhu ji uh, prabhu ji um like when you have a family a small family when you have husband wife and your kids are really small like maybe some somewhere around gorangi's age when we are sick and husband is at work like morning is okay when you wake up you offer fruits or milk or whatever to the lord but then when husband left you are really sick you can't cook in that case what can be done because your kids are too small they don't know how to offer or how to cook so you are saying that only one person is at home with a kid and the person is sick yeah and that is why they are not able to offer yes yeah, but especially in the can... afternoon yeah so in that situation uh, mataji the lord will understand that you are sick and that is why you are not able to offer so uh, whatever in that situation i am expecting that in the morning itself then you would have offered something which as a prasad then uh, you can honor it afterwards as well all right yes prabhu thank you okay okay so we'll close here um and if there are any further questions or comments then you can send it to me on whatsapp and then i can respond to that okay hari krishna shri prabhupad ki jai, jai.